It is going to cause nothing but heartache, problems, uh, and that's only the tip of the iceberg. A new app called People, based out of Calgary, is relaunching. And what it promises is that you can rate anyone. And, and mm -hmm. like we said before, you can rate, if, if you rate someone who is a, a public figure, uh, a celebrity or anything like that, yeah, you know, un unfortunately that becomes fair game. Yeah. But for the average Joe and Joanne, yeah. I don't know. That's right. This app launched last year and previously what it would allow me to do uh, as a user is add anybody I wanted. So say I wanted to rate Kevin Frankish, I could add Kevin Frankish on people and give you a rating out of say five or ten and, and there's a system. You'll get a rating kind of like Yelp or, or Uber or, or apps yeah. like that. The app is relaunching today and it's made some changes uh, in including you have to sign up to, to go on yourself and you, you recommend people based on three different categories, professional, personal and dating. So you can say you've had a positive uh, experience, if you will, a, a negative review, a neutral review, and then you can leave some comments. But you basically leave a recommendation, we, but it still leaves a lot of room. Well, we know on Facebook right now, people can be so cruel. Uh, like That's just it. When you have an anonymity as well, mm -hmm. uh, like writing something on social media, you, you tend to be more cruel than anything else, and, and I think it's just a horrible idea, and I think they're asking for nothing but trouble. It and should that, be shut down. And that's the thing. You can look people up, but the, the more interesting thing is uh, you can choose what reviews go up, but if you were to pay the money. You can actually subscribe to a feature that's coming next month. Uh, you can give them, say, a dollar. You can read all of the negative reviews Isn't of that someone. Nice? So that's that's how they're going to ultimately Isn't that make nice? money. Okay, so what are people saying this morning? Lots, we, asked, we asked people to, to chime in this morning. Lots of comments. Jim tweeted us at BT Toronto saying, social media has become the best present anyone could give a bully. And exactly. that's essentially what this app is. Jill says, uh, I think the new people app should be shut down. Teens especially have self-esteem issues without being put down by Peers, and that's what's going to happen. Bullies are going to get their hands on this, especially yeah. high school bullies uh, and school bullies. And, and not only that, we forget there's bullies in the workplace too. Yeah. So, uh, bullies are not confined to the schoolyard. There are bullies in the workplace, mm -hmm. and uh, and they get their hands on this. Yeah. Yeah. And there have even been campaigns but, set up. This plus, is a think about think about spreading false information. If I really wanted to take Winston's yeah. seat, well, you're you're not a good example because you're in the public eye. Mm -hmm. But if I really want and, and Andrew. So, so come, here, come here, Andrew Paul Furman. He's just a regular Joe. He's a regular Joe. He's a little above a regular Joe. But if I wanted to bring him down, I could start up some sort of a smear campaign fairly easily. Mm -hmm. So, sorry about that, but no, I, 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 he's good, good people. He is good no people. Smear sorry, I interrupted you on this one. Uh, but there's, there are actually Twitter accounts at We Hate People. There are Twitter accounts to shut this app down. Good for that. Wow. Um, but, but the changes just aren't good enough. We hate people. Not we sure I like people. that. <laughs> but, people okay. versus people. All right. Uh, thank you very much. So, at BT Toronto, uh, tweet, uh, tweet Winston, what do you think about this? Uh, you know, what if you, do you like it? We've shown a lot of the negative. Yeah. Let's see, is there someone who says there's some good that can come out of this? Yeah. Let me know.